Hello, everybody. Uh, we are here for uh, Kyle Watches Wrestling Volume 2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Volume 1. Uh, I got some awesome feedback from everybody. Um, based on that, I think we're going to try picture in picture on this one. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, and I was told to smile at the camera. So I'm smiling at the camera. No, I had a really good time with it. Um, hope to improve and keep getting better. So uh, today we're going to watch Kudo Hidaka versus Alex Shelley from Zero One in 2005. I've actually never seen this match. Uh, I think it was probably up a long time ago and got pulled down, but it's back up now. So I figured we'll watch it and see what happens. Um, love both the guys. Uh, wrestled Kudo Hidaka a few times in Zero One. Never wrestled Alex Shelley. He was on my list, though. Someone make it happen. So uh, I got the link below, so I'll give you a second to get that all pulled up. And we will watch some wrestling, and it'll be fun. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, once again, thanks, everybody, for watching the first one. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Going to try to keep putting them out probably once a week. Uh, this week was was two because we were trying it. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's, uh, it's fun. Who doesn't like watching wrestling? So, uh we're going to watch this wrestling and then uh, afterwards we'll do a little talk about what I've got coming up and that sort of thing. So let me get it pulled up here. All right. All right. You get ready. Everybody, three, two, one, play. All right. So here we are. It looks like it's Corrigan Hall, which is Awesome. Definitely Corgan Um, who doesn't love a sweet Japanese announcer? Yeah. Alex Shelley here. Uh we'll talk about Alex Shelley's gear. Let's see what he's wearing today. Oh, first we're gonna talk Hadaka. Hey, uh sneak peek for December tenth, Hadaka's gear. Kyle Matthews return gear going to be very similar. Um, for people that don't know Hadaka, people should really watch a lot more of him because he is awesome. He knows oh, so many styles. Uh, he was my favorite match in Japan when I was there. I think Alex Shelley's even talked about how influential he was in his career after his uh, zero one tours and in their matches. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's pretty much my exact style of wrestling. A little bit of technical, a little bit of high flying, mixing it all together. And I totally just missed the sweet streamers that uh, Hadaka got. Um, anyway, Corrigan Hall, one of the most famous venues in Japan, maybe other than the Tokyo Dome. Um, collar and elbow. I expect this to be a really fast chain wrestling here to start this match. Bow and arrow. Oh, float through. Nicely done. Oh, very nice. He, Alex Shelley is super good at stringing those moves together. Um, and that's all stuff you don't even have to call, man. Just just do it on the fly as long as you, your opponent is loose and, you know, going with the flow. All that sort of stuff can just be called on the fly. Anyway, back to Alex Shelley's gear. This looks like prime generation next Alex Shelley with his... Uh, ALX and then the dollar sign on the other side. Anyway, like I was saying about Hadaka's gear, I'm going to be uh, sporting something very similar. The uh, long biker tights with the big trace knee pads. Give me a little different look on my return. Uh, sports entertainment gear, if you're looking for some gear. Nice, slick trip. See how crisp. Oh. Oh, very good. Very nicely done. So that uh I've actually never seen that third part of that counter where you do the uh the rollover twice and then the, go the opposite way it was very nicely done. I think maybe hold for hold there's no one better than Alex Shelley. Ooh. Very good. It's an old Jimmy Rave trick there. Ooh, ooh, ring to Saturn almost. Yikes. That stresses me out because I have a bad shoulder. It stresses me out big time. E ooh. 
You notice how the crowd's just watching, taking it all in. Shelly's standing right on the arms. Oh, watch the cover here. See if Hadaka throws his legs back and we get a, a double pin. Trapping his legs. Oh, yep, here it is. What's awesome about that is they built it and the crowd bought that as a near fall. And you can hear by the, the roar of the crowd going, Ooh. you know, that they, they thought that was a, a for real pin opportunity. Whether maybe in the U.S., maybe they're just thinking, oh, that's cool. We break and we're going to go at it again here. So good. He's so good. If you don't appreciate Hadaka, um, I actually started doing the octopus um, in a way that Hadaka taught me with the arm capture which is uh, something that I would say that if you ask Jonathan Gresham, who's also a big Hadaka fan, he would say that he uh, got from there. Oh, nice. I have no idea what you call that. Very nicely done, though. And I'm not sure of the counter. Uh, maybe get your feet out and roll into a uh, stretch muffler, maybe. I guess we'll, we'll see what Hadaka does here. Oh, he's pushing the arm up over the head. Oh. Front face lock. Uh, notice that uh, no matter what hold they get in here, there's always an escape. It's very important in chain wrestling, I think, that uh, everybody has an escape to the hold. Otherwise, you're just kind of stuck. Oh, yes. That move that we just saw there, the roll with the... I'm sure it has a name, with the uh, hammer lock. First time I ever saw that was Homicide in Ring of Honor. He used to do it from time to time. Oh, here goes here we go some Tadaka. Nice. Uh when I was at the Zero One Dojo, Hadaka was one of the trainers. Oh. Uh didn't even let go. That was nice. Uh Hadaka was one of the trainers and uh all the days he would come would be the deck of cards workout where you would get a uh one suit would be its own workout. So uh, let's say like diamonds would be push-ups and uh, hearts would be sit-ups and clubs would be squats and spades would be jumping squats. So you would go all the way through the deck. And uh, the uh, face cards, I think, were double. So by the end of it, you were quite tired. And that would be before we ever even got in the ring. You would have to run a whole bunch of cardio drills. And then we would get in the ring. Made you appreciate the... Uh, level but I was of their uh training but I was never more as more jacked as I was when I came back from Japan Jack Kyle oh nice you notice they haven't done any rope running in this match yet or taken many bumps maybe zero just a nice technical wrestling match maybe just some rolls and we are what six minutes in Nice bridge. And there's nothing better than Japanese announcing. Because when it's time, they get excited. Oh, lost the bridge. Hadaka on top. I think Hadaka and I, when I was over in Zero One, bonded pretty instantly because of chain wrestling. Uh, he was the first one that we did chain wrestling class with. And he kind of took me under his wing when I was there. Oh, crawl through. Oh. Stop. Whoop. Yep. Nice. Underneath. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so good. So good. The drop kick was so good. Oh, man. That gets me fired up. Oh. Oh, wow. Little fish out of water here. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, oh. Crucifix. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, they're buying as a false. Oh, very nice. Buying as a false finish. Oh, right back to you. Nope. Flip through, roll through. Crucifix. Nice. One, two. Oh. Oh, right into the cross face. Very nicely done. So for the far still, we have 
what one bump maybe one strike with the drop kick there's a lot of really nice things in there that 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 uh up and over sunset flip i call it the booker t roll Oh, rings of saturn uh booker t roll out of the corner uh not many people do that move it's very hard to do actually Oh, very nice to the ropes. Very nicely done. I also really like Hadaka's short boots. Um, actually, little inside information here. Uh, the Ted Allen mask I wore to the ring originally was for two purposes. One, Ted Allen, obviously. Number two was Hadaka because Hadaka wears an entrance mask. And then uh, I just started to wear it to wrestle. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Oh. Never seen that before. It's kind of a springboard wheel kit. Watch the dive. Oh, no, just kidding. Ooh. Hadaka's being super giving in this match, which is awesome. Oh, Aries dive. Uh, corkscrew plancha. It was an Austin Aries specialty back in the day. Not usually running, though. Usually just kind of did it. He did it a lot of times into the ring. It's very nicely done. Oof. Maybe the second strike of the match there. Yeah. As I said earlier, Hidaka's being very giving here, letting Shelly get lots of stuff in. Um, which, which, no matter who wins, is just going to build... Build Alex Shelley, who I'm sure wasn't as known as he is now in, in Japan. So, Oop, double stomp, I bet coming. Nope, knee. Oh, don't know that I've ever seen him do that. So, my Corrigan Hall match was a match for Hustle, which was like a comedy promotion. Uh, I wrestled a guy that worked in the Zero One office. In the hustle office, uh, we had to practice the match like days and days. Woo! Woo! Ooh, very nice. Uh, we had to practice the match days and days beforehand. Remember every second of it because he spoke no English and I spoke Joe Japanese. And uh, I basically just put him in lots of random submission holds for over and over and over. But there's a really awesome picture that I'll post this week on my Throwback Thursday of uh, me standing on top of him and the guy that was running 0-1, Mr. Nakamura at the time, being the ref, kicking him in the face. Oh! Tornillo, that was crazy. I had no clue that Alex Shelley did that. But it was pretty. Oh, Hadaka going up now. Probably going to get a missile drop kick. Yep, nice. Hadaka actually had a few matches in ECW back in the day, if you want to look him up. Um, like I said, he was the best in Japan. And I know there's been lots of nice words from Shelly lately. Oh, handspring, elbow. And Jonathan Gresham lately about him. He deserves so much more. Ooh, swing around X-Factor. Seeing these matches is going to be super amped up for January 10th, my return. Oh, frog splash probably coming. Nice. Ooh, very close. You can see that we started off very slow, just getting everyone to pay attention, showing that Alex Shelley can hang, right? Now we've ramped it up. Ramped it up. To me, that's the best way to build a match, especially if it's a title match. One guy's not really as well-known as Alex Shelley. Probably been there a few times, but not as known as Hadaka, obviously. Uh... I think we're creating a credible challenger in just this one match. Man, Alex Shelley's so good. Ooh, both of these guys are so good, actually. Ooh. Oh, don't think I've ever seen that before. Nice. Little Hollywood blondes there. Oh, 2K1 bomb. Ugh. One, two, woo! This match is so good. All the way back in 2005, 14 years later, and they're still both going strong. <laughs> Craziness. Oh, we're going to tune up the band. E oh, catch. Ooh, kick to the gut. 
Mm. Whoa. Oh, yes. 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 That's classic Hadaka. Hadaka exit and spin wheel kick. Oh, kind of a, I don't know what that was. Ooh. I think Hadaka gets lost in the Japanese juniors. She's so good. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Springboard drop kick to the knee. Oh, we going Sean Chapter here. This is going to be a wheelbarrow into a leg lock, if that's what we're going for. Oh, yep, there it is. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Set up by the drop kick to the knee. Oh, we're going to tap. Are we going to tap? Oh, we're going to tap. Are we going to tap? Are we going to tap? Are we going to tap? Oh, pull back to the middle. Oh, stand up. Roll through. Very nicely. Victory roll. Oh, good near fall. Oh, Lamai straw cradle. No. Oh, held onto the arm right back into the another one. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, nicely. Whoop. Such a good sequence. So good. Super kick. Nope. German. Nope. Woo! Golden Gate swing. Three handle credenza. Whatever you like to call. Donovan Morgan. Throwing out all the old school references that no one's going to know. 2003. Ooh, super kick. Don't know they got all of it. Oh, shell shock. Ooh, such a nice move. One, two. This match is so good. Everyone should watch this match multiple times. It's so good. It's so good. Shelly still favoring the leg. Still got the knee pad down. Shell shock number two. Nope. Oh, sliced bread. Nice. Oh, that's it. Very nicely done. And your winner, Akuto Hidaka. Look at that celebration, man. Talk about making a challenger in one day. I'm sure, it was a 0 1 junior championship. That was so good. Can't say enough about how awesome they are. All right, so that's enough of that match. So let's talk a little uh, what's going on with me. So uh, obviously, I will be coming back on December 10th in Canton, Georgia. At Sun Sun Southern, ooh, let's try that again. In Canton, Georgia, Southern Honor Southern Honor Wrestling versus David Ali. So um, that match just gets me hyped up. Like, it was so good. Alex Shelley, so good. Kuda Hadaka, so good. Like that's my that's my style of wrestling. Uh, I think you guys should go check them out. Please follow them. Please please look at them online. Look up more of their matches. Uh, Alex Shelley's killing it on his comeback. Akuta Daka has been wrestling forever. So, um, David Ali, December 10th. Uh, you'll probably see some of those moves. Uh, so, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please give me any feedback. Um, leave comments. Leave matches you think I should watch. Put them on there. And I'll, I'll try to watch them and, and do a Kyle's re Watches Wrestling with them. Uh, go to my Instagram, kmat0626. It's my Instagram and my Twitter is kmatthews3. I'll be posting all of my dates on there. Uh, Facebook, Kyle Matthews. All my dates, upcoming, uh, all that sort of thing. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you like it better than this one. Uh, be kind to everybody. Man, watch some wrestling. Thanks.